What's up everybody, it's Paul. Just uh, gonna do a quick review of the interior of the uh, charger here today. Uh, I know uh, there's probably about 100 million of them out there, but uh, I'll let you guys look at mine. Uh, just in case you guys are interested in getting a uh, Dodge Charger, which I highly recommend. Uh, it's been a fun car so far for about the 2200 miles I've uh, put on this so far. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and start off on the passenger side here. Um, I still have the Hemi badge there. So for you guys that are uh, subscribing for the first time or coming to uh, viewing the video for the first time, I actually put those Hemi badges on there. That does, does not come from uh, Dodge or the dealership or anything else like that. I took them off the uh, front fenders and put them on the uh, inside of the car. Uh, I do like them there. So um, if you guys like them, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys don't like them, leave that comment down below. Let, uh, just get your thoughts on there. Um, but as you can see, you do have a little bit of storage in the door, a uh, cup holder in the door. That's one thing this car doesn't lack is uh, cup holders. So yeah, power seats, uh, both uh, passenger and driver side, um, vented and uh, heated seats as well. So on these nice hot days, um, you can stay cool uh, with the vented seats. And of course on those cold days, especially in Northern Virginia, it does get pretty cold here sometimes. Um, the heated seats come in handy, especially with a uh, remote start. So uh, you can leave that on, that option on the car, and, uh, you, and when you get in, your seats will be nice and warm for you. So let's go ahead and get inside here. Show you around. Uh, glove box, plenty of space. Um, so yeah, good size glove box there. I still have the tag on there. I've never taken off. I don't know if I ever will, but uh, yep, still there. Kind of shows you how new the car is. You got your visor. It's got the uh, mirror there with the lights. Uh, they do have that on the driver's side as well. So again, cup holders, uh, plenty of storage space. You got a little storage space down here as well. Um, put different things there. Center console, and this of course is on the driver or passenger side, uh, from the passenger side. So. Uh, you got your uh, USB plug-ins, all that kind of good stuff. Good storage space in there as well. So, all right, let's go to the back. All right, so here's the back. I picked the uh, driver's side uh, rear because my son's uh, booster seat is on the other side there. So, um, again, uh, leather seats, you know, all around, um, but uh, in the back as well there. You got space. Uh, storage space again in the door, cup holder uh, again in the door. Um, there is a center console uh, that you can pull down from the seats um, there so that way uh, you have two more cup holders. But we'll go ahead and get inside here. I'm very comfortable back here actually. Um, pretty good leg room as well. Um, I'm about 5'10, so uh, I'm not the tallest guy in the world, but again, got lots of leg room here. Uh, there is some stuff underneath the seats, so your feet can't really kind of go too far underneath the seats, but it's not bad. Like I said, plenty of plenty of leg room uh, to be able to stretch out back here. So, <sighs> all right. So in the center back here, you got your heated seats here, uh, along with two USB ports, and of course for the AC there or the heat. Your center console that pulls down, storage area. Uh, the cup holders do illuminate, um, so um, that way, just in case you know it's dark outside and you want to see where your cup is, you guys can uh, see that it's a, it will illuminate. So not not too bad. Uh, the seats do fold down; they're a 40/60 split. So again, very nice back here, very comfortable. Let's move on to uh, the driver's seat. All right, so here on the driver's side again. Um, you got your 8.4 Uconnect screen there, uh, which is really nice, uh, nice and big. Uh, we'd be able to see everything. You're not squinting as you're trying to do something on your uh, touch screen there. You do have your controls. Um, so you, um, if you don't control it from here on your Uconnect, you can control them down here. You do have your volume and your tune uh, buttons also on the back of the steering wheel as well, along with your paddle shifters and um got your cruise control there uh you got your um 
your controls for your heads up uh, display right there so that way you, uh, you can there's a lot of adjustments on there we'll go through that real quick but yeah uh, you can, of course you got your shifter here uh, this is you know you get the manual mode you can do uh, manual mode um, just put it in drive click it over and uh, it'll actually you can actually do uh, shifting with that and shift it up and shift it down so uh, again cup holders these actually do illuminate as well so nice nice interior um, you got your uh, lights up here along with your uh, buttons for your you can program your garage door um, I haven't programmed mine yet so I still have the garage door remote right there um, and of course you got your controls for your, your lights and sunglass case holder there so one of the features I do like about this car is is that we do have the um, the mirror dim option, so it's nice. Uh, that way, people are riding around with their brights, which we all dealt with, especially driving at nighttime. Um, I hate when people drive with their brights on, um, and for whatever reason, they don't realize that they are. Uh, this dims it, so that way it doesn't you know blast you in your eyeballs as you're trying to uh, drive down the road. So we'll go ahead and. Get the um, turn on the car real quick here, and we'll go through a, the uh, the options here. So again, not bad. Um, you can uh, again control your heads up display there. Um, all you gotta do is it'll, you got your option for your fuel economy, your trim info, your audio. You know messages if there's something wrong with your car your screen setup all you gotta do is hit okay and you can adjust how you want your setup for your screen there uh you got your speedometer your vehicle information which uh shows your of course your tire pressure your coolant your trans temp let me turn the radio down here i had it down low I hope you guys didn't uh didn't blast a, or don't come through too bad Oil temperature, oil pressure, uh, oil life, uh, voltage for your battery. So definitely different options there uh, that you guys can take a look at. Um, and you can set it up however you want to. Again, very nice option. Um, your Uconnect, uh, as you can see, I listen to the NASCAR channel. Uh, you got your apps right here. So all your different apps that you can go through. So you can set up for your driver's seat, uh, passenger seat your phone, assist, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, mirror dim, which I was just talking to you guys about. Uh, radio, media, all that kind of good stuff. This car does come with Apple CarPlay, so when you plug your phone in, you guys can uh, you get some different apps with that as well. So, very nice interior, very comfortable. I know some guys have actually said that they don't like the, the dash because the dash looks cheap. Um, I personally think it it's good to go um, and the reason why I say that is is because I think it's gonna be very durable I had a 2008 Ford Fusion and uh, it, it had a, a softer dash than this one and it warped uh, within a couple of years and I guess it was a pretty common problem with those cars so uh, this doesn't bother me at all uh, I don't think it looks cheap at all so um, you know um, I definitely do like it but uh, it's a pretty quick review of the interior. Like I said, there's probably 100 million interiors out there. Um, but uh, this is uh, just a quick overview. I hope you guys decide if you're going to get a car, go ahead and pick the Dodge Charger because it's very nice. Oh, uh, a couple other things real quick. Uh, I've been asked what those things are. Um, they're like little speakers. So when you uh, do your uh, voice controls in the car, um, you know, that's what picks it up there. So... That's what those are, and of course you have some buttons over here on the side. Um, these are actually controlled for the seats and the mirrors, so you can program that stuff uh, for you know individual uh, people. So that's what those are about. So you guys, if you guys like the the video, please hit that uh, subscribe button or hit the like button, and then hit the subscribe button. Uh, but we'll do some more videos. Hopefully, here's very shortly we'll be doing some burnout videos. Uh, I definitely want to do that. Um, I'm kind of um, trying to find some areas where I can go out and not be bothered by any of the uh, locals. So uh, I appreciate you guys uh, watching the video. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. Talk to you later.